Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about graphics. Now we're going to be working with graphics a lot throughout the next couple tutorials. So let's go ahead and create a new project. We will select a Windows Forms application and we will just call it Graphics Demo. Now in this program we're going to be making some of the simplest um, graphic drawings that you can do. So we'll just wait for that to load and once it's done we'll just resize the form some and let's come over here to our toolbox and we'll add a button make it a little bit bigger we'll set the text to draw rectangle and we will set the name to button draw so let's go ahead and center it some and we'll double click on draw rectangle to open up the event handler so whenever button draw is clicked it's going to run this so all we need to do first is create a graphics object or it would be more like a variable because we're not creating a new instance of the object so we'll just do private and we'll call it g as system dot drawing dot graphics now I believe system.drawing is already imported so let's just go ahead and see if graphics shows up so system.drawing is already imported but if you ever need to access graphics and it's not imported you can just go ahead and use the longhand version of that so now that we have our G what we want to do is set it equal to something so we'll do that whenever the form loads so we'll set G equals and then we'll type in me now me refers to the form one class uh, which is the form one right here so what we need to do is create graphics for that so we'll just call me dot create graphics it says uh, public function create graphics as system dot drawing dot graphics creates the graphics for the control so it basically lets us draw stuff on our form so g is going to be equal to me dot create graphics so whenever we draw anything uh, with G, it's going to be drawn directly to the form. Now you can set G equal to say um, button draw dot create graphics, I think. But you can set it. Um, don't quote me on that. But you can set it equal to other things to draw on certain parts of your program. So whenever they click draw, what we want to do is draw a rectangle. So G dot draw, and you can see that there's a whole bunch of stuff here that we can use what we want to do is select draw rectangle now draw rectangle is going to take some arguments the first um, version of draw rectangle takes a pen and a rectangle now you can make objects of rectangles um, and you need four points to that and we'll go into that later but for now we're just going to use this version of draw rectangle which takes a pen object and then our x position and our y position which is the top left corner of our rectangle the width and the height. So to specify our pin, what we want to do is just type pins dot, and this I believe is an enumeration, um, and we can just select uh, any color we want. So we'll just do pins dot black. Our X position, I'll show I'll start it off at let's say one one. So you can so you guys can see where that is. That's going to be somewhere right up in here close to the corner of form one and the bigger these numbers are the farther away it gets so this is the starting point for your x position and y position this will be zero zero and it goes all the way down to right here and this will be the biggest so we'll do one one and for our width we'll just make it 20 pixels long and or let's make that a little bit bigger 30 pixels long and 20 pixels wide so go ahead and run this and you can see when we click draw rectangle it draws a rectangle right here in our form so let's just move that away from the top left corner so you can see it a little bit better so we'll do it 30 pixels down and 30 pixels across or 30 pixels across and 30 pixels down go ahead and run this and when we click draw rectangle you can see that it draws the rectangle for us 
So let's go ahead and close out of that. We can also use fill rectangle. So let's go ahead and run this. And for fill rectangle, what we're going to need is a brush. So we'll just type brushes dot black. So whenever you're filling something, use a brush to fill it. And whenever you're drawing the outline or just draw, you're going to use a pen. So go ahead and run this. We'll click draw rectangle and you can see that it fills a rectangle on our form one. So go ahead, practice a little bit with graphics. Um, look at some of the methods that you can use um, by typing draw and see what kind of stuff you can draw. Um, and once you've played around with that a little bit, maybe there's something you don't know, just move on to the next tutorial and your questions uh, will probably be answered and we'll look more at graphics. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial.